guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, most people know me as ZA Reptiles here on YouTube and on Instagram. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's not really animal related. Now, a lot of you know if you follow me on Instagram or if you watched a couple of my last videos. Did I mention it in a video? I did. I had my quarantine video. There was a mite outbreak here in my room. Luckily, only three animals had them. However, I am still monitoring all the others, so I'm trying to keep handling down to a minimum because if someone has like one mite on them that I can't see because it's literally one and they're tiny, if I take them out and I'm carrying them and holding them around, that mite falls off, boom, there's a mite loose in my reptile room that I can get to any of the animals. So I'm trying to keep handling to a bare minimum right now, so I'm trying to come up with videos that don't involve me handling my animals. So if you have ideas, drop them below, please, and thank you. Um, but, so today's video, I want to do kind of like an about me video. Kind of tell you guys about me. Because you guys know all about my animals. You know all about my job and my career. And even about my college education. But you don't really know much about me. So I decided, why not put out a video to help you guys get to know me a little better since you guys all know my animals pretty well, why not get to know me better? So probably the most important thing to know about me, well, for those of you that are new and you don't know me, I went to school for animal behavior, ecology, and conservation. I have a minor in zoo biology. I've always wanted to be a zookeeper since I was like four years old. I wanted to work with meerkats. Um, meerkats are my favorite animal. Something you guys can know about me, meerkats are my favorite animal. And then red pandas, Komodo dragons, Grand Cayman iguanas, whale sharks, stingrays. Those are kind of my top ones. Love stingrays and whale sharks. But anyway, I want to be a zookeeper. And then I got Arcadius in college and fell in love with reptiles and I wanted to be a herb keeper. And then I got all of my reptiles moved away, worked at a zoo for a while, realized that all I wanted was to take care of reptiles and that's what I'm doing right at home. So suddenly zookeeping wasn't really like the ultimate dream goal for me anymore because I was doing it right here at home and I learned that I don't like working for other people. So at home I can care for my animals how I want to care for them on my schedule, decorating their enclosures how I want, and I was top dog. As you, you're bottom dog for quite a while. And you know, you you can't just do whatever you want. Like there is structure, there are rules, there's things you have to do, and people you have to listen to, and people you're under, and I just, it's not for me. Not for me. So I ended up leaving the zoo field However, I still work with animals. I work at my local nature center. I am in charge of animal care. So that went real quick from being fresh out of college, bottom level of a zoo for like a decade or two before I could move up and put me right at the top. Because we are a small town, small nature center. There are four of us employees and um, as three of us full timers, I'm the only one from a zoo animal husbandry background so they were like here you go have animal care so sweet and you know the other problem with working in a zoo is you don't make any money and i never thought that was important and then i actually moved down there and lived on my own and realized this kind of sucks so now i work a state job as well at the nature center because we are owned by the state so the good pay increase and I still work with animals and I'm in charge and my boss is so so chill she's like I always said because I worked there part-time before going to the zoo I always said she's the only really the only person I mind or I don't mind working for because she's so so laid back and chill so now that we've caught up those of you that are new because those of you that have been here a while you already know all this backstory sob story yada yada so now we'll get on to the new information so some of you OGs know this, or if you're on Instagram, you might have caught a post or two. I am a figure skater. 
I grew up in a family of figure skaters. My parents are ice dancers. Um, they trained at the International School of Ice Dance. They probably could have gone all the way. However, they got married and wanted a honeymoon, so they took a honeymoon instead of training. Um, and then I happened, and then my dad was in college to get his job, and but they were pretty damn good. So obviously, with my parents being figure skaters, all my siblings and I were. Um, my sister and I still do. My brother didn't last very long, needless to say. But so I do still compete. I kept up through all through college. I still do. I also coach. Um, figure skating was another big reason I left the zoo field. I was just not ready to back off of it or give it up and I just didn't have the time or money for skating. Um, and where I had moved to, skating was, paying for skating for just a couple months was more than one of my paychecks. It was a bit ridiculous. So when I lived down there at the zoo, I couldn't skate. I was miserable because I could not skate because I couldn't afford it and I didn't have the time to. And it really just, it tore me down. So that was another part of my decision to leave the zoo field was I wasn't ready to give up skating. Skating is too much of a part of me. So another big power move with moving back home to work at the nature center is my local club is here and I've always, um, and you know, I still compete. I still represent my club and I've coached for my club before. I like how my club runs as far as coaching and you know the skaters know me. I when I, so when I came back here I got approved to be a coach and by the end of the year I had two amazing students to work with um, for a competition and you know my parents are my coaches. My coaches are here. My dad sharpens my skates. To get my skates sharpened I'd have to keep coming home because I don't trust anyone else to sharpen my skates. So really moving back here is just the best for me and it pretty much all comes down to skating because I realized just how important skating is to me. I mean it was important but like how important skating is pretty much my life <laughs> besides my reptiles. So we covered skating. That's pretty much the main thing about me. Um, my favorite color is blue. Most of you know that because I have blue animals. Everything is blue. Everything matches my iguana. Everything is blue. Must be blue. Blue and green is my favorite color combination though. I love plants. I struggle to keep them alive though. I am not I always try to water them and I'm not very plant inclined, but I love them so, so much. I think I moved into my sophomore dorm in college with over 20 plants. Yep. I don't like coffee or soda. I have been blessed that pretty much all I drink is water. So yay, something healthy. Um, my favorite drink though, lemonade. Love lemonade. That is my drink of choice. I am 22 years old, but I will be 23 this year. I'm a cancer, because a lot of people seem to like all that stuff, so for those of you that are interested, I am a cancer. With that being said, I never drank a drop of alcohol, besides like a sip or two here and there, but I hated it, um, until last year on our cruise, so I was 22 wasn't quite 22 yet. I was still 21. But never interested. I went through all of college. I didn't party. I didn't drink. I was never interested. I hate the smell of alcohol. I never found anything that I liked. So I was just like, I don't drink. Don't drink. Not interested. Whatever. Don't need to party. Meh. And then we went on our cruise and they had some good, good drinks. So I finally figured out what it is that I like. So I'm still very picky about what I drink. I don't drink a lot because there's not a lot that I like. But for almost 22 years, I never drank. Wasn't interested. Some people find that very fascinating that I went through college not drinking at all for some reason. <laughs> if I had to pick a drink, um, the drinks I had on the cruise, but I don't know what those were made up of other than rum. So um, if I had to pick a drink, that I could drink at home. Strawberry daiquiris with fresh strawberries and chocolate sauce on it. I absolutely love to travel. I was always interested in traveling, but it wasn't until we went on our cruise last year that I was like, I, I wanna travel. It's all I wanna do, I love traveling. So that was another part of leaving the zoo is it, you, mm, traveling, 
can't afford it, don't get the time off to do it. It doesn't happen too often. So, my dream goal is to have my reptile education business, run my Etsy shop. Yes, I have an Etsy shop. Herpetology. I think the link is in the description. And travel. Top of my bucket list, snorkeling with whale sharks. That is something, like, I, I need to do it. It has to be done. There is no if, ands, or buts. I will snorkel with a whale shark someday. My favorite food is tacos. Um, homemade ones, though. Not, like, store tacos or restaurant tacos. Has to be homemade tacos. Those are my favorite. Best part of a taco? Sour cream. Um, favorite place to eat out, though? Moe's. I am obsessed with Moe's. Some of you know, because my leopard gecko's name is Queso. Love Moe's Queso. Can't get enough of it. Moe's Chipotle. Moe's wins. However, even better than Moe's is Chick-fil-A. I'm a southern girl. I grew up in South Carolina. Third thing a lot of people don't know. I am from New York. I'm very pale. I live up here where it's cold. I'm practically Canadian at this point, living up here. But I am from the south. I'm from South Carolina. I love summer. I love it to be warm. So I grew up with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is making its way up here now. We've recently had a lot pop up. Uh, the closest Chick-fil-A to me now is like an hour and a half away. Thank God. Um, but I love Chick-fil-A's nuggets. Chick-fil-A nuggets, waffle fries, and a frosted lemonade. Mm. I would take Chick-fil-A's over Moe's any day, but I do love them both very, very much. Hate McDonald's. Don't like Burger King. If I have to eat at them, I'll find something to eat. I'd prefer not to. I'm not really a huge fast food person other than like Chick-fil-A, Moe's, Blizzard's at Dairy Queen, and um, Taco Bell. I do like Taco Bell. Depends on the stuff though, but I do like Taco Bell. I am an art junkie. I don't do as much art now as like I did in high school when I was actually in art and it was required so I made the time for it. I don't really do as much painting or anything now other than what I do for my Etsy shop, which isn't like extravagant art. It's like making signs and coasters and designing things. And going off of that, I do have a second degree in digital media arts with a focus in graphic design. A lot of people don't know that because everyone focuses on the zoo aspect of my education. So a lot of people miss the fact that I also have a degree in digital media arts and graphic design. Love to read. Can't tell the last time I read though. I was a huge book nerd always reading. I went through tons of books all the time. I'd finish a book in like a day. Um, it's just now when I want to relax. Just so easy to open Netflix. Once Netflix happened, reading kind of stopped. Before Netflix was a thing though, I read all the time. So I do enjoy reading. I just don't do it as often. My favorite movie is Tangled. Tangled tops all movies. I can sing all the songs, quote the movie, my boyfriend finally watched it for me, or watched it for me. My boyfriend finally watched it with me last week. Not impressed by my skills, I will say. Um, but he watched it with me. So I can ask I do for boyfriend. Yep, that's another fact about me. Um, I brag about him a lot because he bought me this really awesome camera that I'm filming with and my ring light that it is sitting on. And we've been dating for almost three years. And he loves reptiles. He always gets mad at me when I buy a new one, but then he plays with it nonstop, and he pays more attention to my reptiles than me. So, you know, he's really not that mad. Favorite candy? Kit Kats. And then sour gummy worms. Reese's taste much better when they're in the shape, like an egg or a Christmas tree. I collect animal paintings. Anytime I go to a zoo or an aquarium that sells an animal painting, I buy it. So I have tons. I have a penguin like and when I say animal paintings I mean like paintings that animals did so I have a gorilla painted ornament an otter painted ornament um, I have elephant paintings I have penguin a penguin painting I have red panda painting I think I have a cheetah painting I have a reticulated python painting a gila monster painting or is it a beaded lizard? I forget which one. One of those. Um, what else do I have? Well, 
going off of that fun fact, um, I almost beat up Santa Claus. Not kidding. Um, the zoo that I trained at in college, they every other year do an art auction. So all the paintings done by the animals. Um, you can come in, they have some that have raffle tickets, some that you can just buy, and then the silent auction. And there was a polar bear one. Super cool, it was my colors. And he had like taken a chunk out of the paper. So it was like very unique. It wasn't just like a canvas, it was like a paper that he like literally destroyed. And it had his paw print on it. And I wanted it so bad. I was bidding against this guy, I didn't realize who he was though, because I never saw him, like felt the paper. And I ended up losing to him. And that guy was Santa Claus. The one that always did Santa Claus for our breakfast with Santa at the zoo. Never been more mad at Santa in my life. Um, something else unique about me. I have a neurologic condition called occipital neuralgia. So basically I have migraines, but they're in my neck. So it's the two occipital nerves right at the base of your skull, the top of your neck. They get pinched and it hurts really bad. And it pretty much has the same um, effect and the same, um, what's what I'm looking for? Same triggers as a migraine. So I went misdiagnosed for a very, very long time. And for me, my biggest triggers are stress and the weather. So snow, rain, I need sunny, bright, fun, warm, nice days. So winter is a really, really hard time for me, especially living in New York, where it's gloomy and snowy and cold most of the year. I love birds of prey. Quite frankly, kind of obsessed. Um, I always wanted to work with them, and then I got to work with them at the zoo, and now I love them. So I have a new interest in falconry. I'm running out of things, and my camera's about to die. So if there are other things you want to know about me personally, you can leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them. Um, but my camera's about to die, so I'm going to peace out. If you guys want to see more of my animals and hear less of me talking about myself, hit that subscribe button because I pretty much only talk about my animals, really. And thanks for watching, even though it probably wasn't that interesting because I just talked about myself the whole time. But we'll see you next time.